Insulin and glucagon are two peptide hormones that are essential to the metabolism of glycogen. Both hormones are synthesized in the pancreas. Let's look at them in depth. Insulin is a tiny protein made by beta cells. Due to its small size, the body has trouble creating a stable insulin molecule. To solve this problem, the protein is initially synthesized as pro-insulin and then modified to create a molecule with a hydrophobic amino acid core and a charged amino acid surface with three disulfide bridges. After a meal, blood sugar levels rise and insulin is released in order to remove sugar from the blood. Insulin binds asymmetrically to the surface of tyrosine kinase receptors in liver, muscles, and fat cells. Insulin causes the two chains of the transmembrane receptor to phosphorylate each other and signaling molecules. This signal tells the cell to take sugar from the blood and store it as glycogen. The glucagon protein is a short alpha helix with 29 amino acids. It is synthesized by alpha cells. Glucagon raises the concentration of glucose in the bloodstream through a process called glycogenolysis in the liver. It also deactivates glycolysis in the liver. Glucagon binds to its receptors in the liver and kidneys. The glucagon receptor is a modified G-protein coupled receptor consisting of seven alpha helices. The receptor has a transmembrane domain, as well as an additional extracellular domain. This domain binds glucagon and traps it by binding to one end of the helix and delivering the other end to the transmembrane domain. This activates the signaling pathway consisting of adenylyl cyclase and cyclic AMP and the protein kinase phosphorylation chain. Insulin deficiency, or a failure to activate the insulin signaling pathway, lead to serious problems that affect nearly 29 million people in the U.S. Early onset diabetes can occur when insulin function is impaired, which can be due to the body no longer producing insulin due to damage to the pancreas or age. This can lead to blindness, kidney failure, heart disease, stroke, loss of limbs, dehydration, and pH changes. So how do you know if you're at risk for type 2 diabetes? Well, being overweight or having a family history of the illness increases your risk. Ways of managing diabetes risk include exercising and eating healthy to maintain a healthy weight and healthy body. Get your blood sugar tested by a physician to know your status. Thank you!